Okay, you guys, it is 5.11 p.m. Tuesday, September 3rd. I apparently forgot to film anything Sunday or Monday. And I'm just now figuring that out. Because I'm editing the vlog. There we go. Um, it was a holiday weekend here in the States, for those who don't know. And um, Bob and I just... Um, we had to feed um, the adopted kid's cat because they were out of town for the weekend. Um, so we helped out to do doing that, um, alternated with the other kids. And um, Saturday, we just went to the beach all day. That's in last week, week's log. And Sunday, we went out and just like went antiquing and thrifting and stuff like that. And then yesterday, we pretty much spent the day at the birth kid's house and grandson's house. Um daughter and son-in-law and husband are doing fantasy football in a family group. I don't do football, um, but I was there crocheting and working on some various art projects, playing with the baby, that kind of thing. Then the three of them went to a concert. They saw Journey and Def Leppard, I think. Um, <laughs> for right now, I don't get to go to concerts anymore. Somebody's got to babysit. So um, yeah, so I babysat. I didn't even think to like pick up the camera or anything when he finally went down to bed. I just, I just didn't even think about it. So anyway, um, I haven't gotten too much creative done today because I've had junior all day. Um, I am going to edit the vlog really quick and probably do today's daily drawing and hopefully get caught up on a bunch of posts again because I'm like a week behind again or more. Um, tomorrow I have the day to myself, so I'm going to work on those pants back there. And I have some pieces and parts for some other things coming in, so I'm going to work on on those. I'll film some of it, because um, I think some of it's an interesting idea. I've got random, like, mail on my desk. I don't know. <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's just been one of those days. So anyway. <sighs> All right. My favorite part of being a YouTuber, editing video. Mm. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. I can hear Bob talking to one of our old college friends and who is in the fantasy football thing with him. And I just finished editing the vlog. It's rendering at the moment. So now I'm going to do my daily drawing and daily blurb of journaling that I do. I don't write a whole bunch, but I write just how my day was going, good, bad, or otherwise. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. Okay, the vlog is done, edited, loaded, scheduled, all the things. Um, I took a little keychain I got from California, from California, holy cow. I'm gonna get one for, to, from California, I'm going there soon, um, from the beach from Oregon. Um, and I turned it into stitch markers. I took all the little charms off of it and I separated them and turned them into stitch markers. That one is, it says on the back, doesn't it? Oh, it just says Oregon Coast. I forget what the name of that little scene is. It's near Seaside, Cannon Beach. Um, there's also a white house, a white house, oh, yeah, yeah, a lighthouse and an Oregon license plate. So I got those done. I also ordered some needle keepers, which are supposed to be magnetic from Amazon. They're cute and all, but they're not needle keepers and they're not magnetic. Um, so I turned them into stitch markers. Um, I'm not gonna bother returning them because there's three little like butterfly moth things. Um, it's just not worth the time and effort but I did leave a negative review because although they're pretty, they're not what they were advertised. So anyway, um, I'm almost done with one blanket. I have another one in my 
bag to do. And I have another of these covered jewelry boxes that came in that I'm gonna turn into a different kind of art kit, travel art kit. And the daily drawing is done and Bob is chatting with an old college friend. Actually, fun fact, the guy that introduced it to us so 40 years ago. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs and make myself some dinner and continue to crochet because I have this one blanket I wanna get finished. I put some more yarn in the bag and the yarn I put in the bag, I should be able to incorporate the leftovers of the one I'm working on now to just continue to make another blanket. So the blankets are easy. I can crank them out pretty fast. I have lots of yarn intended for them that I would like to use up because um, it's a little bit overflowy right now. I do have some wearables I wanna make. The project pile is kind of big, but we have to get some of this other stuff out of the way. So anyway, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is just after 11 a.m. Wednesday, September 4th, I think. Um, Bob is at the office for a couple of hours. He has to go in once a week now, in case I didn't say that. I think I did, but anyway. Um, not a babysitting day. I am... Uh, right now, piling up some recyclables. <laughs> uh, I finished the white pair of pants this morning, and I am going to set them to dye before I have lunch. Um, what color exactly? I don't know. <laughs> I have a dark brown and black. I also have lots of green. Mm, I don't exactly know. We'll find out. I'll be back. Okay, I'll show you the pants in a bit after they're washed and dried. I ended up settling on a dark, cool colored, brownish gray color. To be honest with you, I just started dumping colors in until I got something I liked. And yeah, not mad about it. It's a color I'll wear. So anyway, I'm gonna sit and eat lunch before I either start on the last pair of pants or something else. <sighs> Time to eat some food. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so we made two pair of pants, one long pants that are like denim colored, one shorter pair of pants that were white that are now a dark blackish brown that I'm real happy with that. I made these. You're like, okay, what are those? So there's a channel here on YouTube. I will put her link name here and link it down below. And she has a Facebook group and a lot of interesting videos. These are little baskets, you guys. Little, little, they, they fold flat, but then they fold out. Hold on. When you get them done, I mean, how cute are they? You can do different sizes. Fill them with different things, use them for sewing notions, use them for paint tubes. I just made them out of scraps that I had. I wanted to try the pattern. And this actually, this outer fabric is left over from the blue blonde pants I just made. Um, I had it, I wanted to use it. I didn't want to stuff it in a bin and forget about it. So done. Um, I also started taking apart the other travel jewelry box. Now, I realized when I was editing the video late last night that I never, I guess, showed you this one. So I will put, I did put a picture in the last vlog of what it looks like from the Amazon listing before I did anything to it. And I will do the same thing with the other one I'm working on in just a minute. Um, there we go, hi! So this is the one that I made already. And this is a travel um, stitching kit. So I took all the guts out of it 
and relined it. And I did decide to leave this in, although in the video that I watched, she took it out. Um, and I have some little things back there. My new logo that I just did, um, which you can get on my Patreon. Um, and it has this elastic here, which I put in, um, which if I'm working on something like on a plane, um, I can put like the color chart. There's filled with cross-stitch things. I can put the color chart I'm working on, like right there. Um, and I also added this ribbon to hold it open for, because usually I'm going to use this sort of thing when I'm traveling, maybe sometimes downstairs, but usually when I'm traveling somewhere, and I'm going to want to um, have it be sort of open like a uh, travel desk, stitching desk. So I have another one, and oops, I will put the picture for that one here um, that I got. It's a slightly bigger one. And when it came, I wasn't sure what I was going to do to it exactly, but I have some travel coloring stuff on one, one side of the table and travel watering coloring stuff with my mini watercolor book on the other side of the table. I'm not sure exactly which one's going to fit in the box. I kind of have an idea, but we're taking our time putting it back together after I ripped all the guts of it out, um, which I wasn't sure I was going to do that either, but I did. Um, the bottom is drying. I, it came with a ribbon to hold it open, so I've got that being glued back in because it was just put in with hot glue. I recovered what was on the lid and added a bigger pocket. Um, so when what I have in here is dry, we can put this in the lid. I've also recovered some other various parts for the inside and everything's drying. So once it's dry, we'll put it back together. And I think the way I'm gonna put it together, it'll either fit the travel coloring stuff or the watercolor stuff. It might fit either or. Maybe. We'll see. So anyway, we're going to just let that dry for right now. And I have no idea what time it is. The clock just went off. Um, by the way, I'm making this kit with fabric that I bought on one of our travels. This is from our visit to Williamsburg. If you go to Historic Williamsburg, one of the cool things about it is they have um, not only people walking around in costume and all the things, they also sell some of the reproduction fabrics. So this is one of the ones that I bought and I decided to use some of it on the inside of the box. So that's working. I love those. I love these little baskets. These are so cute. Uh, anyway. All right. I'm going to sit and have some water while the husband finishes his work day. And yeah, then I don't know what else. We'll see. I'm using Gorilla Glue again. It can't dry fast enough, to be honest with you. <laughs> I love this one, by the way. This one just lives in my crochet bag, and um, which I always had some like cross stitching stuff in the bag anyway. Because if I am ever somewhere and I'm just not in the mood to cross to crochet, then um, I just pick pull this out. Um, it's usually how these things work for me. So um, this one will, would be great. I mean, I could just put this whole box in a backpack. Things are safe and secure. Um, if I set it up right, it could be the mini um, watercolor book or um, coloring. If I do it right, I do have these little baby mini Stabilo highlighter pens. I only have five of them because, again, these I bought these when I was traveling, and I, they only had five colors. I'm wondering if there's other colors um, of mini highlighters because then I might be able to get both kinds of things in this box. While things are drying, it's something to think about. All right, I'll be back. Finished another blanket. I know, right? Oh, there's another blanket, it's all done. So we're gonna fold it up and put it out here on the shelf to be donated or given away, which is what all these are for. So anyway, all right, let's get it done.
on to the next one. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, September 5th, I think. It's not quite 9 a.m. yet. I need to finish my coffee before Junior gets here. I've been working on my other travel art box and trying to figure out what configuration I wanted. I finally decided after much hemming and hawing yes, late yesterday and this morning, and I got everything glued in and set to rights. I do see one little place that needs some glue, but anyway, um, it is all set up and ready to go. I will take some pictures. I've decided to use it for my mini, mini watercolor setup and uh, my stress relieving coloring stuff, which yes, is, is a thing for me. Um, I'm for now putting it in this bag instead of the other bag that I made. Um, just for right now, that works for me. So um, these are all things I can, I usually shove in a backpack when we're traveling or going anywhere. And that way I have something to work on when the mood strikes. And I have an option of different choices. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna finish my coffee before grandson gets here. And that's it for the minute, I think. Not gonna be a high art day because babysitting. I'll be back. I am now off duty. Grandson has gone home for the day. Um, Bob has gone off to his Masonic meeting. Uh, I just, yeah, anyway, this is what happens after playing with the grandson. Anyway, I'm going to just sit and do some crocheting and relax a bit. I need to go upstairs first and do my daily drawings. I might just hang out upstairs for a while. I, it's just me until like nine or 10 o'clock tonight. I can do, I can do what I want. Yay, I'll be back. Got the daily drawings done. Got my little bit of journaling about my day done. Um, I also had another um, wire bookshelf that I put between my antique secretary and the wall to hold more of my watercoloring and painting stuff that I do over here in the corner. I really want this to just be an all-in-one type corner and right now it is or pretty close. Um, yeah, as I need them or use them, I, there might be a couple more like tools that I bring over here. I can move the glue stick over there now. Um, like the stapler I just used actually. Let's move that over. And um, yeah, I think that's gonna work out really well. Um, the corner was kind of unutilized anyway. I did find a bunch of paper in the closet that I'm gonna have to go through that I bought for um, old YouTube videos and stuff like that. I, yeah, it's not paper I'm gonna ever use, so it's gotta go. Um, so that's a thing. Not today, but it's a thing. All right, I'm gonna sit and do some crocheting. I'll be back. Hey guys, so. It is Friday, September 6th, I think, and I it's family dinner night tonight, but I have a couple hours um, before that um, to do some art, sewing, whatever. I did some sewing. These are the pants that I made the other day, and this is a top I just made inspired by something I saw on a YouTube channel that was actually about, it was a family vlogging channel and they just bought a house in Italy. Anyway, she had this really cute top on and I said, you know, I could make that. I think I have a lace tablecloth around somewhere that I've used in the past for other things. Anyway, so this is it, just very loose um, lace tablecloth and it's obviously V-neck with sleeves Oops, sorry. It's got a little slit right there. It's so comfortable, you guys, and I love it with the pants. I might. I wish it wasn't so hot. Going to be so hot this weekend because I totally would wear this. Can't wait for it to cool off a little bit. Anyway, what do you all think? All right. I'll I don't. Go. Sorry, I don't have time to put on um, pants or anything with this one. I literally have this over the sundress I've got on. Um, but I finished another one of those tops. So I had a kimono style thing hanging on the mannequin for quite a while because I wasn't sure how to finish it. Uh, this is some thrifted cotton um, I found a while back. And when I made that first top, I'm like, okay, that's what I want with this. And one of the pair of pants I just finished making will go perfect with this. Um, 
and yeah it this one i put pockets on and it's a little bit patchworky with some lace but anyway hold, hold on a second i'm going to put you down okay so this is the top and i put pockets on it but it does have the slits in the side so if i have the pants on i'm thinking of wearing with it it's it's just loose oh, there's a thread <laughs> but it's just loose and comfortable and i love it i can see making more of these anyway i also just found out that daughter has some kind of real estate business going on at the end of the day today and son-in-law has a business meeting so he's bringing grandson and grand dog over for me to babysit for a couple hours so i need to clean my shit up up here and go downstairs because yeah i'll be back Good morning everybody it's just before 11 a.m on saturday september mm, mm, 7th i'm pretty sure Anyway, um, Bob is off at another Masonic thing, and he's a Freemason, for those that don't know. Anyway, so I've been sipping my morning coffee and doing a couple more sewing projects. So I had this blouse in my stash of thrifted items to do something with for a long time. And um, it was it's like a 2X, so way too big for me. So I took it in four inches. I didn't want it to be too tight. I didn't want it to be more on the loose side. Um, so I took it in two inches on each side and then I shortened the sleeves because it had long sleeves. I also had another one that I did that um, the size works for me. It's again, not super tight fitting, but I don't necessarily always like tight fitting clothes. Um, I just didn't like the sleeves. So I made it sleeveless. Um, so I did that this morning. I really do need to clean and oil my machines again. So I know well, I'm not going to do that today, but I do need to do that. I pulled out a couple more piles. One is on the mannequin that needs to be fixed. And this pile I need to do something with. Um, not right this second, but yeah, I have more sewing projects to catch up on. I also have random bits of thread and fabric on the floor. Um, I think Bob might be on his way home. We need to go grocery shopping and stuff today. It's just kind of a chill, get stuff done day. Next week's gonna be crazy busy. Um, <laughs> lots of stuff going on, but that's for next week's vlog. Anyway, I am going to clean up a little bit and relax until he gets home and probably go downstairs and grab my crochet bag and I'll be back. Okay guys, it's after lunch and I'm tempted to work on top number three, but I don't have a color of thread that I can e even make work. So um, Bob is back, we've had lunch, all the things. So um, we're going to go stop and get thread and I also need some fabric dye fixative. So we'll get those two things and then we'll go shopping and then we'll come back. And maybe I'll do some more sewing today, but maybe I'll do it tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll be back. Good morning, people. It is 10, 13 a.m. on Sunday. Guess what I forgot to do last night? <laughs> it's been a crazy week. I forget to vlog two days in a row, and then I forget to close the vlog. Not that that's a huge surprise, but it's just, it's been insane. I had a mini anxiety meltdown at the bank the other day because I couldn't remember my PIN number on, on an account I don't use too much. It's, it's just, it's been a, a nutty week. So I am taking time when I can, where I can to sit in the art room and be creative. And that's helping a lot. I do have a counseling appointment coming up, but that's for next week's vlog. Anyway, I'm doing okay. And I'm doing what I know I need to do to stay calm and relax. But yeah. <sighs> anyway, it's been a good week. Uh, yesterday was a lot of fun. I did get a lot of sewing done and then we went and did some errands and I just came back and relaxed and crocheted all afternoon and we watched some um, movies um, and we watched a docu-series. We didn't see the last one because it's not out yet. Called I think it's called Monkey Business, Monkey something. I'll put the name here. Um, Holy cow, interest, very interesting. Um, anyway, the lady is a little crazy, just FYI. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's been good. And uh, yeah, I'm glad this week I was able to be pretty productive and make time for um, what makes me happy and keeps me calm. 
Um, I'm going to try to do more of that going forward, even if it means on babysitting days, I got to get up a little early because I want to get a little bit of creativity in before junior comes. I did that this week and you know what? It wasn't a bad thing. It was pretty good. So anyway, I hope you can find time in your schedule. Everybody's is so crazy and busy all the time, but I hope you can find time in yours to do what you love with the people that you love. Don't forget to check out the video description in the, um, down below for relative links, um, ways to support the free content here on YouTube and all of those things. Uh, yeah, please like, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. That would really help. And go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.